Well, I was hoping to put out a more interesting video than what this video is actually going to turn out to be. So I went ahead and purchased the Nintendo Switch Lite, which is the one you see right here. And supposedly the way the story is that they found it on a state sale that it had charging issues and pretty much they would not take a charge and stuff like that. So knowing eBay, I was hoping to find one that was way more broken than what it really was or that it had an interesting fault like a chip or something like that or even having to replace the charger port on one of these so I can do a video showing you how to do that and how to troubleshoot one of these. Unfortunately, this one turned out to have one of the most simplest flaws and I actually never seen this in all the older switches that I worked on so far and I worked on over a hundred of them so this is kind of an oddball this tab was just up that was the only issue and I think it actually came from factory like that and the reason why I say that is is because first thing of course you would normally think when you see this okay obviously a technician was in there trying to repair it and that's why it was left up there's absolutely no marks on this thing whatsoever no fingerprints or any besides probably the ones I put on it but the screw heads weren't turned, nothing missing, nothing out, even the dermal paste was actually like I had to um, pop it up so it was never open whatsoever at all. And not only that too, this thing is in like new condition, now I know why because the charge port there's no dust even in it. And that fan there you can see, well there's no dust in it either so what I think happened was someone brought it, it probably didn't work, they went ahead and put it somewhere and that was the end of it or it may have worked once or twice and that was it so I'm shocked it's actually past QC but because it's cable up it probably was making contact for you know the minute or so or whatever the person decided to use it and stuff like that and then when it had the problem they went ahead and put it away instead of returning it or whatever the case is so this turned out to be somewhat of an interesting flaw because I've never actually seen one where the connector was just popped up and that was the only problem normally when I buy these they have so many issues they're not even worth repair or they have interesting issues and stuff like that and this particular one turned out to be an easy repair so I'm hoping that the next Nintendo Switch that I get will actually have an actual flaw in it where you know something that we can go in video I can put on the bench and actually troubleshoot more properly and stuff like that but unfortunately this one's not the case so I went ahead and finished reassembling the switch back together Unfortunately, it didn't turn out to be an interesting repair like I would have liked it to be. But it is a repair indeed either way. And it turned out just to be that latch. So we're going to go and power it on. I'm going to show you that it actually works. So I got the USB cable right here. So let me go ahead and just plug this in real carefully. And then, okay. And then there's the charge symbol. I already charged it fully because I was testing it. And then it should turn on. Just like the old switches, pretty much. Okay. And there you go. You can hear it has sound, the touch screen. I already tested buttons and all that. Everything works on it. And that's why I said it's been played. Because there are games and stuff on it. You know, let's just go ahead and put this game in here. And I'll be right back once I get the game inserted. So, went ahead and insert the game cartridge. And as you can see, it popped up right there. So let's just go and click it. And it gets all the people's profiles. And then we'll just gonna go and click it for now. I'm gonna go and clear the switch anyway. And you can see it's working. It's normal for it to actually, this particular game actually takes a while for it to load. So just give it a few seconds and it should start loading. As you can see, it works. So, fortunately, this was not the type of repair I was hoping for. But needless to say, this is actually a repair. So, it wasn't turning on and stuff, and it was all due just to that cable, which goes to this board, which actually connects to the backlight and all that. So there you go, and you can see it works. So, unfortunately. I was hoping for a more interesting repair, but maybe the next one will be interesting. I did ended up winning another one for 70 bucks, so maybe that will be a lot more interesting than this one will be. So this concludes the video for now. Well, to finalize the story on this Nintendo Switch Lite, 
let's just put it like this way. Turns out likely the seller was inside this council. Even though it was super clean, he probably just cleaned up after himself so that way no one would notice and stuff like that. And was very careful. So here's what happened. And I found this out after playing the game because even though the council did work, one of the buttons, the C left button, was not working, which was the bottom one down here. And I realized that after playing the game, so I went ahead and did the input test on it, which you can go to here, and I'll go and show you actually. So go to system settings. Alright. And I'm trying to do this while holding the camera. Okay, go to controllers and settings. And you can go here and actually run a test. So here you go. Alright, then you can test the control button. So pretty much you could test to see which button wasn't working. When I was pushing this button, it was not working. Now it works because I ended up fixing it, but that's the reason why the seller was inside this console was what happened was on the other end of the cable on this board which is actually connected to this board here the ribbon wasn't actually pushed in all the way and it was causing just that CL button not to work all the other buttons were working on it so what I suspect happened was the seller realized this he went in there trying to fix it which is the reason why that thing was latched up he probably put it back together forgetting to latch it back down and he probably thought he blew something or did something because the console no longer powered on and of course sold it as is on eBay so it turns out that the seller isn't as honest as I thought it was and stuff like that of course it goes bigger you buy something as is on eBay typically that's what sellers will do is they'll try to fix it themselves and they'll either a harvest parts or b they'll destroy it more or whatever and just pot it off eBay as as is I don't know what happened type deal so that's what happened with this council one end wasn't pushed in quite probably all the way from factory and stuff and that ZL button was intermittently working and not working and the seller went in there dug in there trying to fix it and ended up you know not latching it and probably thought oh yeah I did more damage to it and decided okay let me go and list it on eBay it's not charging that will be the end of it and put some story I brought it on estate sale and it never powered on and used the tablet yeah right but it is fixed now the console is fully working and I played it for a few hours, so let's go and just end out there. And you can see that the battery kind of drained now because I was playing it for a couple hours and stuff like that. And it works perfectly now. And I went ahead, as you can see, initialized it and everything else like that. But there you go. There's the conclusion to this Nintendo Switch Lite.